I call upon our next presenter, the president of CUPE Local 1252, uh, Sister Norma Robinson. Here, here. Brothers and sisters, we stand here today. We are brothers and sisters in the labor movement, but first and foremost, we are taxpayers in this province. Two weeks ago, I sat in a lockup to hear the budget of New Brunswick, which said, I represent health care workers in this province, the CUPE health care workers. They froze the budgets of the two health authorities. Anyone receiving health care money in the province, the budgets were froze. Then, two weeks later, what do we see in the paper? We have a 9.9, 10% reduction, $250 million being reduced out of health care in this province in the months to come. Shame. I want to paint you a picture of what that could look like for the citizens and you in New Brunswick. We in New Brunswick, we represent members working in different classifications from nursing to support services to paramedics to maintenance. If I want to paint you a picture, that would be taking every one of the employees I represent out of the George Dumont Hospital in Moncton, the Moncton City Hospital, the St. John Regional Hospital, and the Fredericton Hospital. Shame. 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 That equates to 6,300 jobs in the province of New Brunswick. This is not acceptable. This is a, a disgrace to this government. They wanted to be transparent. They are being anything but transparent. We see rural New Brunswick, as our presenter before me said, rural New Brunswick has been hammered, hammered for years now, since 2011, the governments, the previous and this one. We need to take control of this situation. What is this impact going to do? We are going to see rural New Brunswick coming into urban New Brunswick. Rural New Brunswick being attacked is going to put strains on urban New Brunswick. Wait times are already escalated. We're going to see those wait times escalate even more. What is the potential? What could happen? They've already announced that there's emergency rooms that could reduce in, in hours of operation. What is that going to do? What is that going to do to citizens in this province? We have an overflow of beds here in the province of New Brunswick. We have difficulties with cleaning of the hospitals because of sh shortage of staff and not having the proper tools to do their jobs. We are seeing things every day in the workplace that is putting more strain on health care. We are in a crisis in health care, and if this continues, we are going to be at the rock bottom of health care, which is putting every citizen in this province at jeopardy. It is making people sick. It is making people remain in their homes. They just announced in the budget that there is user fees being put back on the ambulance service. Shame! What is that Shame. Shame. Our, seniors? our seniors are going to be forced to travel further distances to get service because rural New Brunswick is under attack. We need to stand strong. We need to stand firm. We cannot be divided urban to royal. We need to stay united as a united front. This government was elected in September. My God, we've got three years to go. What is next? Nobody is safe. And as far as I can see, austerity, this is a disaster. And we are in a war. Thank you. So, 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 so.